Morning everybody. Okay, so we're day 17. Um, we are um, Irwood area to Ponty. Um, I've set off already. I'm uh, about half an hour in. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit under my belt just to loosen the legs off. They're a little bit sore after yesterday. Um, but the day's beautiful, sun's shining, and um, I get to stay at the mother-in-law's tonight. So again, a little bit more home comforts, which is making a huge difference. Thank you to Richie and Anna, uh, my brother and sister-in-law, for putting us up last night. Um, it was great to see uh, see some family and saw my mum and dad and my two nephews, which was awesome. So Jack and Charlie, thank you if you're watching for uh, just making it a little bit different to a campsite. So it was nice. Um, my dad is the support driver today, um, so I guess we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, but it's not too far to Ponty, so I'm going to get on with it and um, try and eat up some miles. Okay, thanks for checking out, and um, please, please keep donating. Afternoon. Um, okay, I'm done. And done, I think, is the easiest way to describe that. Um, reckon you were absolutely brutal. Uh, Google Maps decided it was going to send me... The shortest, most direct route, which turned from B Road into Rocky Footpath, so we had to turn back. It's added 10 miles onto the day. Um, that meant I lost my support driver, so I technically did quite a bit on my own. Um, then took me on the A470 dual carriageway, where it seemed rush hour traffic for lorries, so that was quite pleasant. Um, so there's a few things I need to. I need to say on this video, one is a massive apology to my wife. I snapped completely. Um, I lost it. Um, now I've had some food and I'm done. I kind of want to say sorry to her. Um, I've said it to her face to face. I'm not that shallow, but I want the world to know that I apologize for moaning to her quite badly. <coughs> sorry to my in-laws for causing a little bit of havoc on timings for me coming in uh, apologies to my dad for having to wait for me quite a while um, yeah but yeah it was awful um, I don't know is it because I'm I'm so close to the end that I'm I'm now struggling to to push through moments like this I don't know um, but it totally totally wiped me out and I don't really have anything left in the tank right now um, but we've got home comforts as I said earlier so I'm at my mother-in-law's now I'm in the garden um, and also to uh, to let you know how, how privileged I should be my mother-in-law has got the fine china out we've got the Denby out for Castle to Castle Challenge so I have just named and shamed that so let's hope she isn't watching um, I wanted to finish today by I don't know reading you a message that I've received um, excuse me for looking down I'm looking at my other phone um, I want to read this message because this has come from someone who's following my story and um, this little boy's mum Selena is someone I know via someone I've never met the lady um, but she's been sending me some really positive messages and she's following the story as much as she can and she sent me this last night and um, I kind of wanted to read it all to you and, and, and just show what impact this is really having. Um, Hi Ed, this is Luke, Selena's son. Today I had my birthday party and didn't choose to get presents and instead I asked my friends to give money to your charity, the Brain Tumor Charity. I managed to raise £200 from both my friends and some of my birthday money from my grandparents. I decided to give you the money to your charity because I felt so sorry about your sister. I hope your race goes well. Bye bye, Luke. Um, uh, if you've still got a dry eye and um, you're able to hold that together, I want you to comment on this video and wish Luke a happy ninth birthday. Um, Luke, I can't thank you enough. You've you have just been so humbling and so generous to give your birthday money to the Brain Tumor Charity in memory of my sister and. Um, I think it really is showing what what this challenge is, what this challenge is sort of doing to people, and 
Luke, I really don't know how I ever can repay you. Um, please, if you're ever in London, send me a message and let me come and see you. Wherever you are, I will hunt you down and come and, and, um, and thank you personally for, for giving me your birthday or giving the charity your birthday money. Um, you are an absolute star, Luke, and happy birthday. I hope... I hope your mum's got you some presents as well and um, I hope you enjoyed your birthday party and again just from the bottom of my heart thank you and anyone else watching this please send Luke a birthday message on this thread and thank him for everything he's doing and if he can give me £200 of his birthday money I'm sure you guys can just give me I don't know a couple of pounds a couple of pounds each that would be lovely so please donate the links are all over my facebook page and once again i'm going to finish this one by saying luke have a great birthday and thank you so much